Brian Sachs here with another Top Originator Secret to help you close more, make more, and still enjoy life. Have you ever wondered what the difference is between a successful originator and one who might be struggling? This is a question that has perplexed originators and managers since there's been a mortgage industry. So I want to explore the top four reasons in this short video series. Here they are, and over the next four weeks, we're going to go deeper into each one. Plan, time, belief, and team. And this week, let's start with the first one, which is plan. Now, before I go any further, you will notice that none of this has to do with pricing or programs. The successful originator has a written goal and, more importantly, a plan for attaining it. They know exactly, did you hear that word? Exactly what they want to earn how many loans they need to accomplish it, and exactly, there's that word again, exactly how they will generate these deals. They have the burning desire to achieve it, and most importantly, they believe they will achieve it. The failing originator just wants to do more business. They have no idea how, but they hope that people they speak to will give them business, and they hope the buyers they speak to will use them and not shop. They hope rates will stay low. See, the failing originator blames their company for their lack of deals instead of accepting the premise that successful originators have that if it's going to be, it's up to me. If you want to create your own plan, I put together a free video and some tools to help you do that. And you can do that at toporiginatormastermind.com forward slash MNN. Let me know if you try this and how it works out for you by going to Top Originator Secrets or leave a comment right under this video. I do read them all. Do you know someone in your company who would benefit from this tip? Well, go ahead and forward it to them. I'll be back next week with another Top Originator Secret. Make sure you visit TopOriginatorSecrets.com.